Hey everyone, in today's Zoom video, I'm gonna show you how to pre-assign Zoom breakout rooms. When you pre-assign the breakout rooms, when a Zoom meeting actually starts, those breakout rooms will appear and everybody will move into those automatically. It saves you a lot of time instead of having to move people around when a Zoom meeting goes live. You do this during scheduling of a Zoom meeting. So let's jump on the computer here. I wanna show you how to pre-assign breakout rooms in Zoom. You cannot do this though on the Zoom app. You have to do this on the Zoom website. Now to pre-assign breakout rooms, you have to do this on the Zoom website. So zoom.us for me is gonna bring me to the Zoom website and I need to log into my account. You can't do this on the Zoom app. The pre-assignment of breakout rooms happens on the website. Click my account right where you log in. It doesn't matter if you have a paid plan or a free plan, just click settings right here. And we wanna to go to in meeting advanced settings. Click this and it's gonna bring you to this section that says breakout room. Now we need to make sure this is active. So let's turn it on and we need to make sure we check this on. Allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. We're gonna do this in the scheduling of a Zoom meeting. Press save right here. So that's the very first step is making sure this setting is turned on. Now all we have to do is go to top of the page here and go to meetings and let's go ahead and schedule a meeting. You could do this right here. Now you could go ahead and name your meeting topic here. That's my meeting's name, my classroom, and then the description is optional. You could schedule it based on date and time over here and how long it's going to be. Remember the free plan only has a 40 minute limit here. Your time zone, generate passcode here, waiting room. But let me go all the way to the bottom to this section, breakout room pre-assignment. This is what we care about. So I wanna make sure I check this on and I wanna create different rooms so I could assign people into that room as the creator of the meeting. I'll press this. And it's so simple here. You just create multiple rooms. So this is room one. If I press it again, I get room two. If I press it again, I get room three. So as many rooms as you wanna create here, it says you could create up to 50 different breakout rooms and assign up to 200 participants into those different rooms. Now the main meeting room will always be there. So you as a host will be there, but you could jump into different breakout rooms here. But anytime, any of these breakout rooms, when they close up, everybody comes back to the main meeting. So to assign people, all you have to do is you have to type in their email address here. The one thing to note is the person that you're typing in their email here, they have to have a Zoom account. Even though everybody could join a Zoom meeting, if they don't have a Zoom account, they won't get this invite here. So make sure if you have a classroom or if you have a team at work that they all have signed up for Zoom on the Zoom website. Then you type in their meeting here and then you go ahead and press save right here and they will be pre-assigned as soon as you schedule this meeting down here and press save. And one thing I'll show you here that makes things a lot easier, you could import from a CSV. Let me click this. And you could download this template here that helps you fill it out. So let me go ahead and open it. If you're on a PC, you will probably get this opened up in Microsoft Excel, but on a Mac, it's going to open on numbers here. Now here, it's going to pre-assign room names. So you could double click here and change any of the room names. So if you wanna give it a different name here, you could do that. Room A, for example, you could name it that. And here you would assign the different emails here to those different rooms. So this will create this pre-assignment here. And then you could go ahead and save this document. Now, all I have to do here is I could drag and drop that same document, choose that document here. And as long as you put correct email addresses here, that will verify that document and it will create those breakout rooms for you. And you could go ahead and press save. Now, if you just jump into a Zoom meeting, you will have your scheduled meeting here that you could go ahead and start. If you don't see it, go to the meetings tab and you will see all your meetings that are scheduled and you could start the meeting here. Now here you'll have this icon, it says breakout rooms. If you click it, all the breakout rooms should be assigned over here. You could always recreate those inside of the meeting, but this should have already all of them pre-assigned. You could add more rooms here. And all you have to do when the participants join is open all the rooms. Now, if people are late, they're not gonna get assigned to these rooms. So they have to be on time before you open up all the rooms here. Now here you have some options like breakout rooms close automatically after a certain time. 
and countdown to the breakout room closing 60 seconds by default. So you could go ahead and change any of those over here. And it's that simple to pre-assign breakout rooms inside of Zoom. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.